A quick jab, and the gates of freedom opened. You mean I can actually go out? Said Lillian, Lily, Shaw, not just a little awestruck, after getting the COVID-19 vaccine in the dining room of her Glendale home. I've been stuck for a year in this prison. Frail from advanced age and severe arthritis, among other ailments, Shaw stayed shut up during the pandemic. A caregiver brought her groceries. Friends didn't or couldn't visit. She was scared to get the vaccine, and her daughter advised her not to because of her health problems. But waking up every day alone, I'm going cuckoo, she told herself. I have lost it. When a local firefighter who visits Shaw regularly suggested she get vaccinated, she relented. She didn't even have to go anywhere, they'd bring the dose to her. On Friday, the Glendale Fire Department and Glendale Memorial Hospital co-launched a pilot program to vaccinate homebound seniors living in the Jewel City. Shaw was one of the first to receive a dose. The program is one of several grassroots initiatives that have sprung up in recent weeks to bring shots to those too sick to leave home, a vulnerable population that some fear is being left behind even as vaccine access rapidly expands. When vaccines started rolling out late last year, seniors and nursing home residents were among the first in line. Los Angeles County opened up access to those 65 and older in mid-January. But those who couldn't leave the house easily, or at all, weren't able to zip down to their doctor's office or brave the daunting lines at Dodger Stadium. That means many people like Shaw aren't among the more than 70% of Californians over 65 who have received at least one vaccine dose although they might be at the highest risk of dying from the virus. Officials appear to be playing catch-up. On March 23, the LA County Board of Supervisors unanimously voted to direct Los Angeles County's Department of Public Health to come up with a strategy to reach the homebound, with a focus on seniors. Supervisor Hilda Solis, who spearheaded the initiative, called them an often silent and forgotten group. About 2 million older adults across the U.S. are confined to their homes, often due to illness. According to Solis, some 220,000 county residents receive in-home support services, and 55,000 homebound seniors receive daily meals delivered to their homes through Meals on Wheels and similar programs. These represent only a portion of those who are homebound, she added. A day before the supervisors voted to pass the motion, County health officials said in an email that the department was working on a plan to vaccinate the homebound but declined to provide details. Blue Shield, which won a state contract to help with the vaccine rollout, said through a spokesperson that the county's plan could launch in early April and would include dispatching the Los Angeles Fire Department and other emergency workers to people's homes.